What Chengdu opened this time was the second phase of Line 19 with a total length of 43.17 kilometers. After being connected with the first phase of Line 19, the operating mileage of the entire line exceeded 100 kilometers. This has become the longest single subway line in Chengdu and China and is also one of the fastest subway lines in the world. It is reported that Chengdu Metro Line 19 has a maximum operating speed of 160 km per hour. Don't underestimate this speed. The speed of 160 km per hour does not seem to be conspicuous in today's era of high-speed trains, running at 300 km per hour all over China. However, although this speed is not fast in the high-speed rail industry, it is the world's top in the subway industry. There are many countries in the world with subways, but most of them do not operate at a speed exceeding 100 km per hour, including rail transit powers such as Japan, Germany, France, etc. The actual operating speed is generally within 60 km hour. The only one that can barely be called a high-speed subway is San Francisco. San Francisco has a subway mileage of 660.8 kilometers and public transportation is very developed. The maximum operating speed of its subway reaches 128 kilometers slash hour, and it has held the title of world's fastest subway for many years. However, the San Francisco subway's speed of 128 km per hour pales in comparison to the 160 km per hour made in Chengdu. Now, all the world's recognized fastest subways are in China, and they are all 160 km per hour. The four fastest subways in the world in China are located in, two in Guangzhou, one in Beijing, and one in Chengdu. Among them, Guangzhou Metro Line 18 and Line 22 are the first all-underground urban express lines in China, with a speed of 160 km per hour, with a total length of more than 90 km. Beijing's new airport subway line is China's first fully autonomous and driverless train in the city, with a speed of 160 km per hour. In order to match the characteristics and functional positioning of the Chengdu Line 19 Double Airport Express Line, Chengdu Rail Group creatively adopted a 4A train with a total length of 95.8 meters and a width of 3 meters in the second phase of Line 19. The passenger compartment adopts a combined longitudinal and transverse seating arrangement with a maximum capacity of 1,004 passengers and a maximum capacity of 1,416 passengers. It is also equipped with up to 45 trains, which can fully meet the travel needs of citizens. What is not known to the public is that the design, research and development, manufacturing, assembly and assembly of this urban A-type vehicle, which can reach a maximum operating speed of 160 km per hour, are all completed by China's Chengdu Rail Group. It is completely made in Chengdu. It also demonstrates the strong strength of China's rail transit industry. China has always made breakthroughs and innovations in the field of rail transportation, achieving a gorgeous transformation from imported technology to independent research and development. The opening of Chengdu Line 19 not only demonstrates the improvement of China's rail transit equipment manufacturing level, but also provides reference and demonstration for other sister cities in China. It is understood that the subway vehicles of Line 19 adopt a series of advanced technologies such as carbon fiber composite car bodies, new energy saving and environmentally friendly air conditioners, etc., which have achieved remarkable results in lightweighting, energy saving and consumption reduction. 
At the same time, the vehicle is also equipped with an intelligent operation and maintenance system, which can monitor the vehicle's operating status in real time and improve operational efficiency and safety. The train has a maximum operating speed of 160 km per hour. Not only is it fast, the carriage is also quieter and more comfortable. Apply new noise reduction technology to reduce interior noise in many aspects. The doors adopt a double-leaf passenger compartment sliding door system with active compression multi-point locking technology and multi-lip integral sealing technology, composite sound insulating floors are laid throughout the train and the car body cavity is filled with sound absorbing cotton. The air conditioner adopts dual frequency conversion technology for ventilators and compressors, based on passenger capacity adjustment to achieve adaptive adjustment of passenger room temperature and humidity, and personalized heating and cooling compartment settings. Adopting the structure of middle top perforated air supply plus side roof hidden air supply, the air supply is more uniform and comfortable. The entire vehicle uses pressure wave control technology based on road spectrum to significantly reduce pressure fluctuations in the vehicle during high-speed operation. An obstacle remover is installed at the end of the cab to remove and clean obstacles above the track to ensure driving safety. The entire vehicle is equipped with an onboard information security protection system to realize intrusion detection functions and ensure the security of information transmission to the greatest extent. The design, manufacture, and selected materials and components of the vehicle must comply with the EN45545 standard or the corresponding level equivalent to the International Standard for Fire Protection, Fire Resistance, Smoke Resistance, and Poison Resistance. It has good fire resistance and can prevent fire to the greatest extent. The trains are equipped with online monitoring equipment such as running parts, batteries, pantographs, track inspections, and high current detection. Together with the Ground Intelligent Operation and Maintenance Platform, more than 60 health diagnosis models are constructed to provide train online monitoring, fault diagnosis, fault warning, and fault detection. Analysis and other functions provide data support for train operation and maintenance, improve maintenance efficiency and quality, and reduce maintenance costs. The second phase of Metro Line 19 is the first line opened in the fourth phase of Chengdu's Urban Rail Transit Construction Plan. It is 43.17 kilometers in total, starting from Jiujiang North Station, excluding, in the west and ending at Hejiang Station, reserved, in the east. It is connected to Line 18 through Tianfu Station and operates on the same line to Tianfu Airport North Station, connecting Wenjiang District, Shuangliu District and Tianfu New District, and has the composite function of a city express line and an airport line. As a line connecting the two airports, the second phase vehicles of Chengdu Metro Line 19 can operate at a maximum speed of 160 km per hour. By operating on the same line as Line 18, it can achieve direct travel between Shuangliu International Airport and Tianfu International Airport in as fast as 30 minutes, which greatly facilitates citizens' travel. With the opening of the new line, the total operating mileage of Chengdu's rail transit network has exceeded 600 kilometers, making Chengdu surpass Shenzhen. It is comparable to Guangzhou, which ranks third in total rail transit mileage, with a total mileage of 609.8 kilometers. This will accelerate the formation of an express channel radiating westward from the core area of Tianfu New Area to Shuangliu and Wenjiang. This will also accelerate the seamless connection of aviation, railways, highways, subways and other transportation modes, 
creating advantageous conditions for Chengdu to build a metropolitan area on track and an international comprehensive transportation hub. The opening of Metro Line 19 will further optimize Chengdu's public transportation system, alleviate traffic congestion problems, and promote urban economic and social development. At the same time, it will also have a profound impact on the rail transit construction in western China and help China's rail transit industry move to a higher level. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.